using a plastic panel removal tool, pry up on this top piece to remove it. This piece is extremely difficult to get out. And as you can tell, I kind of marred it up just a little bit, and which is really hard to do because I'm using a non-marring plastic panel removal tool. It's just that the piece is set in there so well. So just be very careful when removing this piece. This took me about 10 to 15 minutes to remove this top piece, just so you know, it's very well edited. There's a little piece down there that has to be pushed in to release it, and that's what makes it so difficult. I'll show you right now on this back panel part. So there's three little clips in the center, fairly easy, but it's the pieces on the outside that make it really difficult to remove. You see a little indent right there? You're supposed to push that in while pulling out. So it makes it pretty difficult to do, but just a heads up, that's how you kind of remove it out of there. Use a 10 millimeter socket and an extension on the socket. This is helpful so you don't hit the screen with your ratchet. You can also not use an extension, but it just puts you more in danger to hit the screen. As I demonstrate. that and it takes you a lot longer. So now, using a 10 millimeter socket also and an extension remove two bolts behind the stereo. They're kind of hard to get to, so it's best to have a magnetic pickup tool to get to them once you unscrew them. Don't let them fall in the dash either. Now get your hands and uh, pull back from behind the stereo and outwards, and the stereo will release. It's a pretty simple, straightforward removal, but unfortunately with that top piece, it makes it really difficult. Uh, make sure to put a towel down on the shifter area so you don't scratch the front of the dash or the screen or anything. Remove these Molex plugs by pressing down and pulling outwards. Just like so. These are actually the stereo connectors if you want to know what they look like. Micro USB input. XM radio and antennas. That's just your factory Nissan antenna. Another look up close at the at the harness. And up close look at the back of the stereo. If you guys like this video, make sure to watch my other Nissan Altima videos, how to remove the speakers, and also the tweeter, and the rear deck speakers.